Full time at Crow Park here and Limerick are all Ireland champions for the third time in four years. Another absolutely sensational performance, one of the greatest halves of Hurland that we've ever seen. Annihilating and dismantling this Cork team. This is a good Cork team, but uh, with Keen Lynch, Aaron Galan, Garod Hegarty with 2 2, just so many scintillating performances. Final score 3 32 to 122. Patrick Horgan obviously battled very, very hard at the, the Cork in Cork's attack, but they were they were no match whatsoever for Limerick, who had, I think it was 13 different scores over the course of the game. 10 scores in the first half, all of their forwards had scored inside the first quarter of the game, and there was just no keeping with them. Declan Hannon, he lift the All-Ireland title for the third time, I think just the second man ever to do it, and three times in four years, and they'll obviously talk about how it could nearly be four in four years, but it's just a marginal victory. To win this final by 16 points, that's the biggest margin of defeat since Kikai and Isla at Watford in 2008. And there's been some, uh, like when you combine that with last year, winning that by 11. And the way that they've walked through this All-Ireland series this year, beating Cork the first day out, turning around against Tipperary, that 16-point uh, turnaround in the second half, that was some of the greatest hurling we thought we'd ever seen. But then we get to the final here, and that, having won the semi-final by 11 against Watford, to go and do it like this, and be up at half time by as much as 318 to 111. There was no way back from there. There, Cork emptied the bench. Limerick were able to do so towards the end of the game and be able to bring in a couple of young lads, likes of uh, Colin, Coughlin, Colin Coughlin coming in late on in the game. Great for him to, to get out there and taste what this is like. But it's that accuracy of, of Limerick is just incredible. The, the first half, they had 29 attempts at goal and they scored 21 times. And it's not that Cork were completely wasting the chances that they had in the first half. Seven of their first eight attempts went over the bar, but they were just getting turned over so often. And they try and play a ball in and tie at the top of their full forward line. Like said, Dan Morrissey, who gobbled it up. Sean Finn, who had an incredible performance back there. He put himself in hurler a year running, mopping everything up and turning 50-50 ball into 80-20 ball for Limerick. And they just came out with the ball time and time again. And there was a run there during the middle of the, the first half. It had been brought back to just four points, 2-8 to 7, with a Seamus Harnady point. It must be added that he had an excellent game, scoring four points from play. But there was a run there where Limerick hit, um, they hit one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven of eight scores and just completely pulled away. Cork looked like they'd stemmed the tide just a little bit, but they were still miles behind, 2 16 to 10, then a Hegarty point and a goal just after. And there were so many turnovers, the amount of times that they just took the ball off Cork just turned it around and just knocked it over the bar or got a goal was just it was just time after time it felt like it was relentless and the full back line for Cork I'm sure plenty will be made of what the uh, Limerick inside forward line scored here Peter Casey with his I mean people talk about whether Peter Casey is that important a player or not he had five points scored in the first half and you'd wonder did the appeal get to him the red card in the semi-final and how that affect his mentality coming into this but he's played here in club all Ireland. he's played here for Limerick uh, for a few seasons now it never bothered him at all and uh, he scored five points to play went off with an injury Graham Mulcahy replaced it but the, the inside Limerick forwards their movement in that first half obviously everyone else was on top out the field and when they were able to pin ball into the inside uh, forward line the movement of Flanagan who uh, he ended up with just a point from play but he had a very good performance setting up other scores and putting Rob Downey who, who did all right considering the ball going in uh, he did plenty of damage in terms of linking up play, but the ball going in was absolutely sensational, which is only credit to Limerick and how they use the ball and work it around the place and their management team of John Kiley, uh, Paul Kinnerk and, and a few others. But that goal, that a bit of a killer. I mean, obviously there was a goal straight on at the start. Keane Lynch setting it up. He was fine man of the match, scored six from play and was involved in a couple of the goals. But um, I think uh, Luke Mead had tried a, a cheeky hand pass back out through the back gate. Keane Lynch ended up with it. Gave it on to Hegarty, and he had a beautiful finish for that goal. Then Shane Kingston had steadied Cork down with a goal of his own, a beauty. Uh, solo and true pass Sean Finn and blasting into the roof of the net. But then that other goal that uh, Aaron Galland scored in the 15th minute, puck out, Dermot Burns, he knocked the ball up to Seamus Flanagan, who gave it to Aaron Galland. But there was a mix up in the Cork back, back line. From what I saw, Sean O'Donoghue for Rob Downey's man, who was Seamus uh, Flanagan, they both got caught in two mines, they were in no man's land. Lovely ball across from Flanagan, and Aaron Galland just wasn't going to miss. And he, he had a couple of runs of getting uh, on the score. He scored 1-1 one, one quickly, and in the second half, he got a couple of more from playing the second half. So a very good All-Ireland final performance from him. 
he did feel sorry for Cork though because they were so far behind and obviously they were trying to press for goals and maybe that bloated the scoreline for a finish but they just really didn't have a massive answer to to, to Limerick in this game and Limerick brilliant all Ireland champions to do it in such dominant fashion again it just says so much about that group of players and team uh, and their backroom team and what can they do in the next couple of years because they have players that are at the peak of their powers right now and they're probably not going to go away anytime soon so uh, that's it from Croke Park and another brilliant win for Limerick their 10th All-Ireland of all time Declan Hannan lifting the third of those and Dean Lynch what a player I mean but there's a lot of brilliant performances but uh, sensational from the Patrick Swellman again